This guy seems all right. Yeah, it's that's totally Michael the Angel. Absolutely. <laughs> Hey everyone, this is a two girls one let's play of Masochizia. It's gonna be fucked up. It's just to let you know. Yes, my name is Mari. And I'm Stacy. And the developer himself said, listen, I know you guys and I know your audience. And if you guys can't finish the game, I understand. So, so hope you guys enjoy this. This is a pretty good game to play for our Halloween horror thon. So sorry that the introduction is so long. I just really we really thought it was important that you guys knew that this game is like that you might be getting yourself into something a little fucked up and that we wanted to make sure you guys knew that going into it. So this is your warning. Yeah. This game includes mature content pervasive language, violence, and oppressive themes. Recommended for ages 18 plus. Click no to immediately exit this program. Click yes to proceed. I'm serious, guys. I'm serious. <laughs> okay? So, don't yell at us in the comments. This, Because this is like... Yeah. Okay? We're not overselling this. <laughs> Based on a true story. Hello, Hamilton. Did you run away again? Uh, who, who is there? Do you not know? I, I don't need you. Oh, Hamilton. Without me, you're nothing. We are nothing. Aged key. Flecks of rust and earth stain its bow and blade. Hmm, doesn't work. There might be more things to the right. I think he changed it a little since he made the demo. This oh cool. Ah. Codes. Alright, so we don't know the code. Oh wait, what's this? I wonder if we can just open it. Yeah. What? Hmm. And we're already stuck. Yep. <laughs> Good job, us. Can we poke any other things? What is the key open? Maybe I did it wrong this time. Maybe I can... The key's gotta open the door, right? I mean... Oh, I have to drag oh. it. Leave the shed. Yeah, it's open. Ah! Is this weirdo? Ah! Act one. The family. So in case you guys haven't seen the... Welcome back. I don't... What was that? They call him... The Gray Man. I don't like him. I don't think he cares if you like him or not. Either way, I'm sure that we will see him again soon. You should head back home, Hamilton. Your poor mother, she must be worried sick about you. So in case you guys are wondering, hmm, uh, I had a theory of video about it because somebody pointed out that he, the gray man has a lot of similarities to a real guy named whatever fish and he like killed children and ate them. Awesome. And
Oh, wait, okay. Yeah. He killed children and ate them, and there's, like, a lot of hints, and it's, like, a lot of similarities between him and this guy, and it's, like, one, and you guys will see, like, I'll, I'll try and point it out whenever I can. Go inside. This shit is weird. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, yeah, bird mask for a face. Oh, the pictures. They follow you. Go. Oh. They do? It feels like they do. I'm not sure if they actually do. Maybe I'm imagining that because I've been in those, like, the you know, the Disney haunted houses where all the, the, all the eyes are All the like, eyes, like, follow you, and you're, like, sitting there, and you're, like, why is this scary? Like, this is for 10-year-olds. <laughs> <laughs> There's this shit. Yeah. In case you guys aren't familiar, that's when they used to put, uh, like a sheet over the mother so that they could have a picture of just the baby with a ghost in the background <laughs> because apparently that's less creepy than having the mother actually in the picture. I don't know. I have a solution. Let's have this terribly scary thing happen. <laughs> Let's put a ghost in the background. <laughs> that <Let's> works. <laughs> Look, this guy just doesn't uh -huh. have a face. Ah, dear sweet mother. She loves you. She loves you not. Mm. Hamilton. Ha oh, you go ahead. Hamilton, my dear child. How I've missed you. Where have you been? How dare you frighten me like this? Uh, I was just outside, not far from here. Do you think I'm a fool? You forget that I created you. Worthless creation that you are. You know, if I discover you're lying, I will have your father beat your skull into the floorboards. Now tell me again. Where were you? I'm sorry, I went to the old shed in the valley. You spineless little shit, lying to your own mother. Your father will beat you till your tears run dry. And when your father is done with you, I won't come to help you this time. You can cry all you want. Your father will... Wait. Your father... Ah, Hamilton, I am reminded. My dear child, I have a task for you. Please don't make me see father. My sweet child, you are a good boy. How you've grown. I love you, Hamilton. Do you know that I love you? You do know that I love you, don't you? I need you to bring your father his medication. But father hates me. Your father loves you, Hamilton. Almost as much as I do. He's upstairs in his room. Be a good lad now. Take him his medicine. You will do that, won't you? Fine, I will do it. Dear sweet Hamilton. The scent surges through your nose, your eyes water. Bye, Mom. Bye. Love you, too. <laughs> wow. Yay. Gosh. Maybe you guys should invest in, I don't know, like... Eyeballs? Eyeballs. <laughs> and having <laughs> eyeballs. This is a new thing called having eyes. I like how there isn't music, really. Just a little... Ooh. Uh. 
buddy. This is Walter, the man who is known as the Gray Man. Actually, had a, a brother named Walter, and he was mentally ill. Hello, brother. What happened to your face? Did father do this to you? Brother, you're bleeding. Uh, Wipe the blood from his face. Yeah. That just makes me nervous, sorry. I'm sorry that they've done this to you. then I would eat your fucking heart. Well, then, okay, okay well, bye. See you later. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we'll, we'll talk again soon, I'm sure. Yeah. Okay. Bye. Who disturbs me? It's me. <laughs> Spit it out, boy. Do you have my medicine? Yes. Bring it in to me. Oh. Also, the gray man also had a father that was much older than his mother. And was an alcoholic. And was an alcoholic. It was weird. And abusive, probably. Yes. What is it, boy? Father, I... Spit it out! Why must you stand there and stutter like a frightened girl? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Why are you always sorry? Do you know who is really sorry? It is I that is sorry. You're sorry? Yes, boy. I'm sorry that I ever let that bitch of a mother birth you into existence. Do you know, she only ever gave birth to w one truly good child. Then God looked down from heaven, and he determined that I deserved less. He took my own son away from me. And then he cursed your mother's mind, turned her heart against itself. And then I beat her, you see. I tried to fix what he did to me. But it was futile. I told her I needed more. We must replenish what God stole from me. And then, and she gave me Walter. The masochistic filth. Father, he is your son. Son, he is no more of my seed than you are. He is a curse from God like you. At first I tried to beat the eatable out of him, but then I found he just thrived on the pain I inflicted. But then, the cruelest of jokes, God gave me you. You're the worst, the combination of all their evils. I am who I am. I should never have let her birth you. I stood there with a, the hanger and the knife. And I was ready to carve you from her womb. But your mother screamed. She promised me that you'd be different. But you tricked her. You lied to her. Do you know why God gave you to me? Father, please, no. 
Of course you don't know. God gave me you so that I could beat the evil from you. And with his help, I will surely be victorious. <laughs> What have I done to deserve this? We scare him. He fears us, Hamilton. Because he doesn't understand us. Or what we will become. And what we will become is what truly frightens him. How your heart races. Can you feel it in your chest? You must calm yourself. There are some pills in your pocket. Take the pills. Why do I need the pills? You're a special boy, Hamilton. So special in the f in fact, there are those out there who would seek to take you and make you their own. Do you remember, outside the shed in the woods, the gray man? There are others far worse than he. Now take your pills. Walter. Walter takes a step forward towards you. You find yourself taking a step backwards. Well, I guess we'll just we'll see you later, Walter. Hey, bye. Hey. Let's get out of here. Yeah. <laughs> That boy in the backyard, can you hear him? He's calling your name. To the backyard. That guy looks like Rasputin. Are you Hamilton? Yes, how do you know my name? My friends told me that I would find you here. They told me that I would find a boy here with blood on his face. You do seem to meet that description. I suppose I should introduce myself. My name is Albert. How did they know I would be here? The angel, Michael, that's his name. He knows everything. This sounds crazy, but he can even see into the future. The future? Wow, he sounds wonderful. I promise you, he really is wonderful. The messenger, that's what his name means. It's a beautiful name, isn't it? I like my name better. Hamilton? Hmm. I don't like that name at all. It sounds sort of like... Ham and eggs, don't you think? Maybe you should change it. I'd rather not. And it's not just Michael. There is a girl with him. Her name is Grace. She is, well... It's hard to describe. She is perfect. Perfect? No one can be perfect. Oh, but she is! She is the sweetest thing I've ever known. 
Can she see the future too? No, she is far more powerful than that. She is the end of our story. How do I meet these friends of yours? You will find them at the shrine, deep in the woods. There will be a guardian there will be a guardian outside the gate. You will need to tell him the magic words. Then he will let you in. But if you get them wrong, he will kill you. So be sure to get them right. But how will I know the magic words? I promise you, you will know them. But how do I find the shrine? Go deep into the woods. When you find the guardian, he will take you into the shrine. My friends will be waiting for you. Let's take that. Its broad and heavy blade relies on your arm's momentum to separate its target. Fun fact. Um, the gray man ate the children by carving them up like they a butcher. And that's a meat cleaver. Fun fact, my mother told me that she wanted to abort me. Your mom's a bitch. I know that's not like a fun fact, but I just, I don't know, it seemed relevant. So it was like really weird, that whole like sequence to hear that, you know? Well, your mom's a bitch. I know. What's, okay, so let's check it. Four, 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 five, four, four one, one, four, four. four. But I guess I just wanted to say that because I just, I don't want people to think that, like, if your parents say something like that too, hold on, I'm still writing that down. Oh. I don't want people to think that, like, if your parents say that to you, then it means anything about you because it really doesn't. It means that... They're assholes. That they're assholes and that there's, like, something wrong with them that they think they need to say that to you. Yeah, like, That's okay, all. like, what, you judged me as a fetus? Okay, what? <laughs> I mean, if that's, you know, something that they went through, that's one oh, thing. Oh, Stacey's talking about her biological mother. Biological mom. mother, yes. Not her stepmother. Just in case one day she's like, wait, excuse me? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> no, my stepmother is actually very wonderful. Um, but finish what you are saying. Oh, yeah, but I was just going to say, like, if that's something that, like, your parent went through, mm -hmm. like, that's okay because everybody has their own journey, but that's not something that they should say to their child because once a child is born, the parent's job is to protect their child and, you know, raise them being with love no matter what. Being pro-choice is good, too. Just, like, you know, like, why would you say that to your kid? Yeah, that's just, you know, it's one of those things that you just shouldn't say to them. Where are we? What's go? What? What? Oh, dear. Are we in the future? <gasps> oh, no. Don't jump out at me, please. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Stop it. Ah. Ah. Where did we go? I'm very scared. Is there anything to click on? No. Oh, God. Ah. There you are. I thought I lost you for a moment. <clears throat> Where am I? Shall we continue? Yes, continue. Good. So tell me, Albert. Would you say that you're close to your mother? His name was Albert Fish. Oh, okay. The guy who, like, kidnapped and ate children. Oh, good. Albert, my name is Hamilton. Oh, what was that? Did you uh, see that? Yeah, I did, but I didn't see, like, exactly what it was. Very well. You use whatever name that makes you comfortable. Is that fair? I suppose. Good. So would you say that you and your mother were close? Close. That's an odd word for it. Is it? 
How would you describe it? I had no feelings or love for her. Why would you say that? Do you not love her because she didn't stop your father? She encouraged him. Do you ever consider that perhaps she was also trapped? Wasn't she also abused by your father? No excuse. Perhaps not. But she isn't really what you want to talk about, is it? Let's talk about your father. If we must. Use one word to describe your father. Drunkard. How does that make you feel? I don't feel. Are you all right? Albert? Albert? I think we're losing him. Act two, friend, the friends. I guess we have to go to the forest now. Yep. I'm really enjoying this. Even though there's like a lot of fucked up stuff in here. Yeah. I really enjoy it. We like fucked up stuff. We do. But we also like to be considerate of other people. Who might not be prepared for it. Yes. So people are like, oh, like you can't just go around like avoiding fucked up shit. I'm like, no. I mean, you can. I mean, you gotta be considerate to other people. People have a right to do that if that's what they feel they need at the time. Exactly. Everybody can explore the world at their own like pace, I feel like. Yes. There's room for everybody. So, we go to, <laughs> I'm burpy right now. <laughs> We go to the woods to find an angel. Would you rather I stayed home? For more beatings? We may actually enjoy that, but... Are we sure that we can trust Albert? I'm not even sure I can trust you. Oh, Hamilton. Can you not even trust yourself? I don't know, dude. You're being kind of weird, so... Wait, is this... Yep, so keep going to the right, and then there might be places to go along here. Oh, head towards the woods. Ha-ha! Oh. Whoa. I'm not sure what that's saying, but I know it is probably important. I think it says Albert Fish. Okay. I, like, sometimes I'm able to, I don't have a photographic memory sometimes. <laughs> Did you watch the, what was that movie, uh, Fight Club, and you were like, oh, there's dicks in this movie. Dicks everywhere. And everyone was like, what are you talking about? I was like, listen. I know there's, I know a dick when I see a dick. Okay. <laughs> All right. If you can trust me for anything, it's to find the dick. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, I gotta pee. Yeah, I found a dick in Soma. Yeah! Who? Nobody would have known. Nobody I went knew. frame by frame, I was like, is that a dick? <laughs> found it. Found the dick. I found it. A path. Is there any other things? A path? Take this one. Are we gonna end up doing weird shit? Yeah. Sounds of a creek. Into the woods. Oh, so I see. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. Hello. Um, hello. It's a beautiful creek, isn't it? Yes, yes it is. Do you have a name? 
I'm sorry. My mother told me not to talk to strangers. My name is Hamilton. Hello, Hamilton. Can I be honest with you? Of course! We're friends! You scare me. I don't know why. Do I now? Tell me why. I, uh... I have to go. I'm sorry. Please leave me alone. I wonder what would happen. Whoa! Hello, little boy! Leave me alone, please! So it doesn't let us cleave him apart. That's okay. that's good. Damn okay. it. Let's be friends. Leave me alone, please. Hmm. Well, it's worth a shot. Well, hacking the children, it's worth a shot. <laughs> hacking them into pieces. The stones guide us. Okay, but the stones are like not seen. What is that thing? What thing? This thing? This yeah. creepy thing? What is know. that? A creepy thing? Excellent. Right or left? Let's go to the right. Okay. Excellent. The shit is like... Every time we go to a new frame and they're like, there's like some weird shit, I think it's gonna like kill me. Cemetery. So I've been following the devs' Twitter. So so is Stacy. But we saw like he has like the the path tree for like different decisions and shit. Oh yeah. So there's like a ton of different endings for this game. What? Yeah, that's just to go back the way we came. Oh, oh, there's another cleaver! What's your knife? The blade feels balanced in the hand. A, pr a practice thrust slices the air before you. <laughs> we're, c we're collecting serial killer weapons. Yup. This game is dark and based on a true story, guys. Like, I ain't, I'm not even playing. Yeah. Maybe I can kill this kid now. What? I'm just saying, it seems to be the point of the game. Killing children. Okay. Yeah, let's do it. Nah. Blah, blah. Get out here. Mari's like, if we find just the right weapon, we can kill him. Everyone's gonna be like, what the fuck is wrong with Mari? Like, I knew it. I knew she was bad news. And I'm like, I told you I was bad news. Okay? Let's go left this time. Yep. A path. No, oh, that's wait. back. I'm a fool. Huh. Sounds of a creek. Okay. Hmm. The valley. Hmm. The valley's where we came from, right? Yes. So that's a path. That's a path. I wonder if we can just keep going. Oh! oh. Here we go. Oh! I should have listened to the stones! Yep. Silly me. Stones guide us. So maybe. Oh! The shrine. Yo, are you the guardian? No? Okay. Later, dude. I feel like you can either play this game as, like, you know, someone who gets out of being, you know, crazy, or someone who's like, no, I love being hurt. Oh. Uh. Greetings, child. Who are you? I have many names. Nor more numerous than the great <laughs> more numerous than the grains of sand upon the shores. To many though, I am the guardian. I was like being super serious and I can't even talk. Yeah. <laughs> You're like that father. Which you uh, what do you guard? The way. 
To proceed, you must know the words of power. If you are to fail, I will be forced to destroy you. I've come to find Michael. The angel. I understand this. Are you ready to then tell me the words of power? No, but yes, sure, yeah. Yeah, let's go for it. Tell me the words of power and find your way. Oh. Oh yeah, so it's the it's the numbers, right? I hope so. Do you know what this word means? Not yet, but I will. Yes. Not yet, but I will. Will you now? I don't think I believe you. But the angel will decide. I'm sure that's a number that has to do with like weird shit that he did in real life. Ah! Here's our chipper little friend. You've made it. I just knew you would come. How did you know I would be here? Michael, of course. I told you that he knows everything. I'm so glad you made it. Have you spoken to Michael? Not yet, but I will. Talk to him. He can talk more. We can talk a lot more later. Oh. Snazzy suit, bro. Uh, this guy seems all right. Yeah. It's, that's totally Michael the Angel. Absolutely. Child. I see that you're coming. I see that you're come to me. You are, you're come to me? I see that you're come to me? I think that it might be you've. Okay. Are you the one called Michael? It is as you have said. Why am I here? I have seen your suffering. I have tasted your pain. And behind the eyes of our compassion, I have now called you by name. My name, what do you, uh, what do you want from me? What do I want? I am but a messenger, a mouth, from which comes the truth of your existence. And what truth is that? Your truth. Yours is a name that will be remembered for an age. A legacy of blood and tears that could drown an ocean. But Hamilton, this is not the name that will crush their hearts and minds. But perhaps I'm getting ahead of myself. I will be remembered forever. Yes. Long after the jolting pains of death have left your lifeless. When your bones have turned to ash in my mouth, your name will be feared and worshipped, hated and spit upon. Feared and worshipped? What do you mean? Child, you push too hard against the stones. It is not time. It is not yet time. But the one who can prove their worth, bleh, the one, the one who can prove their worth to me, he shall know all. Angel, what must I do? I see the tears and scars of your addictions, all the feelings lying buried within your breast, your heart black with hate and bitterness. And yet, from the depths of your depression and the tears which you've shed, there grows a swelling plague. The thrones of righteous anger. Throws. Whatever. 
<laughs> the shrieking voices tearing at your heart. How do you know these things? I have a message for your father. What kind of message? The message must come from you. And only you can know the words. Where do I find this message? This I cannot help you with. But you will find it. And when it is yours, you will know what to say. I will find the message. I will deliver it. Yes. You will. I must go now. Before you go, speak to one other called Grace. She has a gift for you. It will protect you. I have seen it. Oh dear. Hello, Grace. Do you feel Grace smile? Michael said you have something for me. Grace nods. She holds out in her hand. Three needles lay gently in her palm. What do these needles do? You feel Grace moving deep in your mind. You begin to understand. So whenever I'm in trouble, I can use these. Grace nods. Thank you for these. Grace nods. You feel her slowly leave your mind. The sharpened tip pricks your finger and you smile. Press R to use needles. Find release. Oh. Grace seems unwilling to speak further. Okay, everybody here is weird. I don't know, should I say who Grace is yet? I don't know. Who Grace was in real life? Oh, I'm not sure. Maybe not. Like, wait until later? Yeah, I would say wait. I don't I don't know the answer, so I can't offer too much input, but well, I don't... Well, it's good that because it's you, you're the one who wouldn't know, so then you're the audience. I'm always like, ah! I don't even know where I go. <laughs> Can we trust these friends? Could you not see his power? I saw. I saw a glimpse of what could be powerful, but is not yet. But your sanity is slipping. Can you feel it? Take your pills, Hamilton, before they come. Yeah, okay. I mean, now what? I'm not sure what we do next. Yeah, let's take our pills instead of doing self-harm as much as we can. Yeah, I'm not sure exactly what those are supposed to represent. What are we supposed to do? Hamilton. I think we're being followed. Ah, fuck. Where? <laughs> ah! Oh, does this mean we're supposed to use one of the things? The needles. Use them. Now. Oh, okay. 